What's up, Ian here and this is my first impression, quick unboxing and graph measurements of the C-Audio UMay 2. Alright, this is 2, not 1. And uh, this is uh, 1DD plus 2BA IEM. Now, before I begin my video, I'd like to thank Linso for sending this to me and making this video possible. Uh, I really appreciate them very much for supporting me from the beginning all the way until now. Uh, but guys, rest assured that whatever I say in this video is my own opinion. This video is not scripted and Linso will be watching this video together with you guys, okay? So, see audio you made too. And uh, this is retailing for 199 US dollars at the time of filming this video. So, for those of you who are interested to check it out, please uh, take a look at the link in the description below. So, as usual, I will open this up. I'll go through the specifications, the accessories. Uh, then, I'll measure this with my measuring rig and I'll listen Listen to this for the first time and while listening to it i'll give you guys my sound impressions uh and all that lah, the usual lah, okay but please note that um this is not my full review as usual uh after this video right i'll listen to this for a longer period of time and then i'll i'll make another video lah, okay at a later date not now okay and not so soon huh? some people uh, just be patient just be patient okay now this video will be timestamped so for those of you who wish to skip around please feel free to do so all right so let's uh begin uh, first let's remove this plastic lah, so i can go through the specifications without going through the glare and here i have my trusty knife okay Right, so this is Rinko, right? Rinko has grown up. You can see she has uh, matured quite a bit from the Yume one, and she looks very nice and very cute. In fact, there is a plush toy. I'm not too sure if this is included in the box or in the package when you buy Yume 2, but this was sent to me while they sent this Yume 2 to me. So yeah, you might want to ask them right when you purchase the Yume 2 okay so let's put the Yume 2 mascot here so that it's accompanying me now um so as usual right this is uh the same as the previous one i've not heard the previous one huh? so this is a 1dd plus 2ba okay at the back you get the specifications and the graph so later i'll measure it and then let's see whether it's the same or not okay and then you have the specifications let's go through them sensitivity is 103 impedance is 17 ohms and the frequency range is 20 to 20,000 hertz okay so that's the specs right so let's open this up right very nice presentation and you can see the IEM sitting here let's take a look at the other stuff first and this is very apple like any stickers <laughs> That's the first question I asked. Any oh, we got some card there. I don't know if it's a sticker, but okay, so it's not a sticker. So it's a fine us card. So you can find them with all this lah. Facebook and um, well, I think Instagram. And uh, you have your user guide. Okay, if I'm not wrong, yeah, it is the user guide. If I'm not wrong, yeah. Okay, so user guide. And what's this? postcard okay so you have um, Rinko here and she's on a big bunny okay stickers no stickers okay let's double check no stickers all right so no stickers for me then all right so let's take a look at the other stuff you have some case here let's take a look at the tips or maybe the case first all right case Right, so this looks like it's leather and it's got a foam on the top here. You can feel the foam, some thickness. And oh, this is a proper hinge. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, and there's a button, pin, right? This is a pin button. You can pin this and, and uh, have Rinko, can carry Rinko, Rinko around with you. Okay, let's open this plastic and just show it to you, to the camera and you guys. I think this is uh, fabric. Oh yeah, it's fabric. And then you've got Rinko here. Very cute. And she's like, her hair has grown longer, I think, from the very last time. Yeah, very nice, cute pin. Okay, and then inside here, we have the cable, right? So let's put, let's take, talk about the cable later. So inside, right, is like felt. Okay, it's like a jewelry box and with foam. And it's got this um, tab here to actually hold your cable in place with the button. Okay, and ooh, very, very strong clamp. 
So this clamping force is pretty strong. Don't put your finger in there. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> so yeah, C Audio logo in front and it's white. Okay, very nice case and it's hard. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, ear tips first, lah. Okay, so ear tips. Uh, let's see. You have one, two, three, four, five, five different sizes, I guess. Yeah, but they're all the same type. So very nice uh, ear tips, translucent type. Uh, the flange is a little bit on the softer side. It's kind of grippy. It's got some grip to it. It's not slippery, yeah. And the non the nozzle here has got some flange to it, I guess. Yeah, and the center core is kind of stiff. A bit, well, not very stiff, but it's kind of kind of hard. So it's a pretty nice uh, ear tip. Okay, I'm gonna try them later. Not now. Okay, now let's take a look at the cable. Now this cable is ooh, quite stiff, quite a stiff cable, especially uh, when it branches out to the individual IEMs. But this is a uh, two core. It's a cream color kind of, uh, yeah, it looks creamy and it's kind of stiff, but it's it's got body, a lot of body to it, a lot of form to it, um, and definitely will not tangle up. It's pretty hard to tangle itself, and it holds its form, which is good, but it's a bit on, it's, it's got a mind of its own, I guess, yep. And this is uh, terminated with a 3.5 headphone jack, and the Y splitter is made of metal, and there's a chin slider, which is plastic, okay? It's kind of loose and the ear hooks is soft that's good news okay i like soft uh and it's actually quite firm as well it's got the softness okay pliable at the same time it's firm it's got its body to it uh and a two pin connector right here okay so cable wise is not bad it's not sticky it's not grippy it's kind of smooth okay at the same time it's not too smooth okay so very nice cable and now let's take a look at the IEM themselves. So this is the C Audio Yume 2. And this is a mirror finish, kind of metal and uh, very nice. Okay, this is very glossy. You can actually see your own reflection on this. And you can see the very nice logo in the faceplate. So it's very normal mirror finish type of uh, metal. And uh, yeah, very nice. And uh, very typical IM shape. It's actually not very heavy. Okay, I feel that it's not, uh, it's actually, I think it should be aluminum, but it's not a very, very heavy IM. Okay, it's not very weighty. So actually, it will feel light in the ear. Okay, so on the inside, there's no fin here. There's no fin. Actually, uh, very glossy. <laughs> it looks like a, a fingerprint magnet, but actually, no. Leh. I don't really see my own fingerprints on it, which is good. Okay, nozzle is uh, a pretty wide ball nozzle. Okay, pretty normal. Yeah, and the two pin is a recessed two pin connector on the top here, and uh, there's a vent. Okay, so very nice looking, elegant, classy look type of uh, IEM. Oh, I can see a bit of fingerprints here. Okay, so yeah, very classy looking. In fact, looks like a earring if you were to put it in your ear. Uh, I am. All right, so now let's take out my measuring rig and let's see how they graph on, well, and how they sound. Okay, so be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. And as you can see, I've got my measuring rig out here and I have something new, right? And this is the cable. I have a new cable and uh, I would like to thank Kotori, Ray from Kotori for hand making this cable for me. And this cable, right, is a really special cable for me. It's a silver, pure silver OCC 4N 27AWG 4 core cable. Okay. And the OCC has got certification. So I trust... Um, you know ray very much and uh the cable and the, the workmanship the soldering is all very nicely done the braiding is also very nicely done as you can see okay so i love this cable very much so from this video on i'm going to use uh this cable as my test cable in future okay you can see the kotori logo here okay so yeah back to my measuring so i uh, i have the c audio you made two okay in my hands so let's put the 
left side okay the left side into the coupler by the way i've done all the calibration so you guys don't have to watch all that so all i need to do now is to measure and you guys can just watch the measuring okay right so left side is in the ear and Rinko is by the side here keeping me company now let's go to the computer and let's click on measure and change the file name to C audio you may two okay I'm just gonna use the numeral two all right so let's check the levels first 87 db that's good all right so let's see how it looks like on the graph let's go okay and looks like a pretty linear graph to me with a recess mids and a pretty good gain to the upper mids uh, all right so let's take out the left side okay and let's put in the right side okay as you can see this is the right side without the glossiness and let's put it into the coupler okay right now let's go back to the computer and let's check the levels first 86 db very good all right so let's begin let's see how it looks like okay uh pretty okay channel matching except for maybe at the tail end here uh, at the brilliance area so this part here uh, as i mentioned right this coupler is not well it's not the when it comes to after anything after 8k it's gonna be not gonna be accurate so looking at this right this is actually a pretty linear type of sound signature with a recess well i mean it's a u-shape it's okay it's a u-shape it's recess mids um, sub bass is quite extended it's got good slide uh, for the mid bass and the lower mids mm, yeah and the treble is kind of harmonish yeah looks like it's kind of harmonish and it's got good air uh, well reasonably good air uh, and yeah so let's let's uh, take out my ipad and let's listen to this uh, for the very first time so be right back okay so i'm back and as you can see i brought out my ipad and i've got my usual usb-c dongle from apple and my brand new kotori cable okay and i've got my cp145 spin fit ear tips okay and this is the yume 2 right and i've got rinko here to keep me company while i'm listening to the im okay so let's put these in the ear and see how they fit okay pretty normal and comfortable there's no fin but it's fine it doesn't wobble at all it does go deeper into my ear though so i get a better and deeper insertion and uh yeah it's pretty comfortable to wear okay so i've got a uh, golden hour uh fired up in fact they changed the color of the album it used to be orange i think or yellow yeah but now it's kind of a uh, greenish light green kind of thing all right so let's uh fire up the song and let's listen to this c audio you may too let's go so pianos they sound quite natural birds and the kids are in the background somewhere here which is good i can actually hear them quite clearly the vocals the lead singer sounds quite intimate but it's got good bite in fact, the uh, lead singer's got a very good presence in the mix itself. The rumble is quite extended and the lead singer actually sounds quite sweet. It's got a sweet voice to it. It's got kind of lively, good presence. 
Oh, the rumble is in here. The rumble's in. Very good rumble. But it's not a very invading and... Yeah, it's a very polite rumble. But mm, yeah, it doesn't bleed. It's a very co well-controlled rumble. And the violins, right? They sound actually quite forward. Snapping's on this side. Sound stage, right? I find that it's a, a, quite a wide sound stage. In fact, very... Not out of the head, but it's got good height and good width. And it's got good depth as well. But the lead singer actually sounds quite intimate. But for the fact that they have got that good presence and good bite. The impact is controlled. Very good, um, fast kind of uh, impact. Yeah, this part, the shine, this part here the, where the impact comes in. And that treble, right, is not a very... In fact, there's no sibilance to the treble. It's got a bit of a sparkle, in fact, good sparkle to the vocals, to the lead singer. And the violins as well, it's got good, clean high. Okay, so this is the part where the violin comes in. The imaging is good, not bad. I can hear the lead violin around here. Or is it here? Yeah, around here. And then the kids and the birds are chirping around the side. And the sound separation-wise, right, I find that it's okay only. Oh, but there's the, the sparkle of the violin is really good. The crispiness of that treble. Good natural roll-off. In fact, good air as well. Okay, let's pause the song. Alright, so this is my very first impression and first listen to this C-Audio Yume 2. So from what I hear, right, in terms of soundstage, this has got a pretty wide soundstage. Good depth, good height as well. It's not out of your head type of soundstage. But the um, vocals, right, they actually stand out, right? That's why I hear vocals stand out and they sound a bit more intimate than the other IMs that I've heard. So in terms of this one, uh, Jake sounds quite intimate and quite um, in front, all right? Uh, but the soundstage is wide, okay? It's got good height as well. The bass, I would say, is, is a, well, the rumble is good, all right? It's got good extension. The impact is okay, well-controlled. Uh, the overall tone of this is natural, natural sounding. And uh, instruments, they've, they've got good, um, a bit light on the note weight, but a uh, good tone to it, right? Uh, but overall, I find that this is, mm, yeah, pretty natural sounding I am. Now, again, this is not my full review. This is only the first song that I've listened to. Now, after this video, right, uh, I will listen to more songs and then I'll come up with a review video for this You May Too. Alright, so that's it for now. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed yourself watching this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alright, so I hope you guys have a great day ahead and I'll see you again in the full review of this You May 2. Cheers.